So yeah, I finally found the Raiders in the uh, the Corvega and it turns out that I was actually missing an elevator and once I took that elevator up, it gave me access to the third level I believe and there was about three ra Raiders inside there. And I believe I only had to kill one of them and then my quest updated. Uh, so I, yeah, totally, totally missed it. I just could not figure out where those raiders were. And it turns out that I was just walking past an elevator all the time. Yeah, total fail. But anyway, people Man, should be used to me failing by now. So we now need to go back to, where is that? I think it's all the way down the bottom here. Yeah, we need to go back so and report our success to the settlers at 10 points bluff. I'll have some tea. Which is yonder this way. So yeah, that kind of, um, and I guess a lot of people have kind of come across that during uh, quests as well, where they just can't figure out what they need to do. And then when they eventually do figure out, it's like one of the most common sense, obvious things that they could possibly imagine. And yeah. But I got eventually. Ooh. He's tough. Yoink. <laughs> I was half tempted to do a critical there, but I said no. I don't. Oh no, I've no ass. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Yeah, it's only mongrel meat, really, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't think we're alone. Another one. Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, I'm wearing a slightly different uh, outfit this time. This is actually the outfit that... Um, what is it called? It's the Gits, G-I-T-S Sutri. This is the one that Heather was wearing a while back, so... Yeah, I just said I'd wear this for a little while. It's actually cool. I really, really like it. Uh, in between the last episode as well, of course, what I was doing, I was doing my usual, um, my usual looting and stuff, so I gained a level. I am up to level 20, I believe. Um, and not much happened outside of that, really, to be honest. Right, let's talk to these guys first and get this quest handed in. Hello. Hi. You find those raiders? Join the Minutemen. Don't need to worry about them. Yeah, we took care of them. Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Excellent, perfect. So now we need to go back to Preston and tell him all about it. Right, so since the last episode, I actually had a small bit of a problem with the Xbox where the Xbox would not boot up. This is actually the second time that has happened to me, so I'm kind of getting a small bit concerned about it. But I had no choice but to do a factory reset, and you have the option of doing a factory reset where you keep all your games and you keep all your saves, and if not, any of it are stored in the cloud. But unfortunately, there was two mods that I had installed that were no longer available for me to re-download. One of them was the BZW... What were they? It was Cheryl and Maven. They have actually been removed from the mod store. Uh, not entirely sure why, no, they're gone right across the board, they're gone from the PC, they're gone from the Xbox. So yeah, that was kind of a little bit disappointing. I never really got to show you those ones, um, so whether they will return or not, I am not entirely sure. I kind of hope they do. Irradiated Thistle, I... Oh, maybe that's a bad thing to pick up. I was going to say, I've never picked that up. Oh, God, I better get rid of that. Radiated Tissel. Where is it? Oh, 
Oh, where the fuck is that? Fuck. I'm not entirely sure if that keeps actually irradiating you, but, um, where is that on the map, actually? Where am I? I'm right there. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a bit bummed, actually, that I couldn't uh, get to show you those mods, and I never even tried them out myself, but, yeah, unfortunately, they're gone, so... Nothing we can do about that, I'm afraid. Jesus Christ, will they stop fucking shooting at them? Get behind it if you can. Right, so we will fast travel to Preston, hand in this quest, and then this will be another one completed. Okay, Preston is over this way. monstrosity. It's an embarrassment. Okay, we finally have our first At quest completed. Not raining. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. You know that guess. settlement you There's sent me to help? In trouble today. They've decided to join the minute. Stop walking, you dickhead. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I've never really used it. I guess that. you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Uh, yeah? I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we've kind of heard of it. Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturges, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Yeah, that wasn't great, no, to be fair, was it? Uh, Quincy Massacre, don't give up. Know how it feels. Well, yeah, don't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. What about you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. With you at the helm, the Minutemen could be a big damn deal. Yeah, Nick likes the Minutemen. Okay, let's keep the convo going, though. Why me? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Sure. Okay. I'll do it. Finally. Something going the Commonwealth's way. Oh, there good. we go. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Quite a promotion. <sighs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Mm -hmm. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. And... Awkward silence again. This happens a lot. 
I'll mark it on your map. There you go. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Yeah, do you know what? This this game is buggy as fuck, do you know? Like, Boston at the moment is completely a no-go fucking area. I think we area. ought to talk. Yes. Are you upset? Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but yeah. you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? Would you like to see my dirty laundry? All right, who are you? The detective outfit, the institute. Can I ask all three? I fucking better be able to. So, who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Ah. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's terrible. You're a robot. From my time, maybe? Wait. The original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. I also wanted to ask a question about the Institute as well, but I guess I'm not going to get that opportunity. Right, visit that town, do what's needed, kindness creates kindness. Yeah, visit that town. So I wonder now, is this actually going to give me his, um, his side quest? Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. Hmm. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Ah, fuck. So, do I need to get his affinity up a little bit more? Hey. What's the plan? Talk. Nick. Do something for you? Uh. Is everything all right between us? Not enough people out here are willing to try and do what's right. I consider myself awful lucky I fell in with one who is. Is everything all right between us? What can I say? I like your style. You want to help people out here. That's the kind of person I want to travel with. Your thoughts? I didn't know what to think when we first signed up together. Color me impressed. Right, maybe I have a small bit more to That's do. That's all for now. Well, all right. Um, but I imagine uh, doing a few more quests for the Minutemen would actually help with that. Fucking rain is making everything look miserable. 
Right, so let us see what we need to do. Raider troubles at Green Top Nursery. I believe that is down. No, it's not. Oh, it's over there. Right, well, we'll travel to Breakheart Banks and we'll see what they're actually up to. Okay, and we need to go over this way and. It's night time and I hate moving around in the night. Oh, I remember this place is full of fucking robots. I think they're cheeky little bastards as well. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was. Did the Minutemen send you? Yep. Yes. I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but... We can't stand up to them ourselves. How many? Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but... Who knows how many are back at their base. Okay, so where is that? Over this way, right? So we need to go to Hugo's Hole. I also need to get a uh, Curie. I think Curie is here in Vault 81, as far as I know. Um, I might do that maybe in the next episode. We'll see. Right, what we'll do so is we'll make a beeline for... Hugo's hole and look <laughs> Hugo's hole <laughs> Yeah, it sounds bad. Um yeah, we might as well walk it. It's a nice evening for a stroll. I might make the videos as well just slightly shorter than I used to be making them. Um it might give me an opportunity to get more videos uploaded uh more frequently. Because I do spend an awful lot of time on the audio and the problem with that is that I am not an expert on audio so I really do spend an awful lot of time trying to tweak it and trying to make it sound good. Um, it probably could sound better but this is um, the, the best that I can do so if the videos are shorter it means that I am spending less time. Um messing around with the audio and stuff, so... Because it takes a while to clean it up. And we'll go with the shoddy. And they're not... Am I in the right place? Oh, I'm not. No. Oh. Hey. Oh, we're in some real trouble here. I hope you can help. Uh... Wait. I don't know what we're going to do. Right, I need to talk to someone else over here, I'd imagine. Welcome to the slum. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. Up. Let me know if you want to So what do you think of the place? It's impressive. It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. We're thrown out? Well, I suppose they were thrown out for obvious reasons, so there's no, no point in asking that. Um. It well. looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Is it produce or produce? 
Uh, can I help? Yeah, there's a quest here, definitely. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't uh -huh. sell tar berries without traders. And trade caravans need safe roads. Kill the raiders. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Yeah. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. Right, kill the super mutants in Brickheart Banks. Uh, where is that? No idea. Let's figure it out later. Um, I remember this place actually from... Um, actually, is this something to do with Nuka World? This looks really familiar. I'm sure there's a quest here related to the Nuka World DLC. Which means they'll probably get ousted. See if there's anything... Um, oh no, it's all stealing. Right, okay, let's not get too distracted. I should do a quick save as well. I cannot remember the last time it saved. I wonder, can this be made into a settlement as well? I'd say it can. Anyway, yeah, so like the episodes won't be too much, um... Ooh. They won't be that much more smaller. I'll, I'll try and keep them maybe to about 30 minutes max. But yeah, I try to go through the audio files and take out as much as I can. That is kind of, you know, background noise and stuff. But it's it's really difficult to do. And very time consuming. The video side of it is really easy. You just, you just simply do your recording. Uh, but yeah, right. I'm not too far away. That's obviously a quarry. I'm not going to go in there yet. It looks to be full of raiders anyway. Alright, let's, let's avoid them for a little while. Unless that is the place I need to go to. I once dyed my eyeballs bright blue. I was trying to make an eye infection cure with Nuka-Cola Quantum. Everyone thought I was a synth. Myrna tried to shoot me. It was a tough two weeks. <laughs> right, I am actually thinking that... Th oh, yes, Hugo's hole. No, it makes sense. Right, okay. Um. So, this is probably going to take a while to clear out. So, what I might do... What will I do? Coastal Cottage, Wishcraft Museum... Back up to the Nicarno residence. I don't want to leave the episode get too long. Um, so what we will do is the start of the next episode. We will actually come back and we will do Hugo's Hole. So we'll actually make a cut here. And in the next episode we will clear this place out and go back and talk to Preston again. You don't have anything else to hey. do. I th I I'm listening. I thought hey, I might actually get something. Anything I can help with? Um, Are things okay between you and me? You're trying to make a difference out here. That puts you in the good column in my book. Okay. Nothing else for now. Well, all right. Right, I'm actually going to look that up just to see exactly how close I am to his Affinity Level and getting his, um, his side quest because that's something I would really like to do because, as I say, I've never experienced it before. But I am going to end the episode here. So, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider giving a like and subscribe for future content if you so wish. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.